diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. I'm Jimmy Williams with Draft Diamonds, and today I have with me Colby Campbell, who's a linebacker at a Presbyterian College. How are you, sir? Good, doing good. Hey, man. Um, it, I'm glad to have you here. Uh, tell me just a little bit about your overall career. So, I uh, started playing ball when I was about seven years old. Uh, local team in Aiken called the Aiken Tigers. Uh, first day of practice, I go out there with all the pads in the wrong spot, have my knee pads, my thigh pads, thigh pads on my hip, disaster. Coach got me right, ended up playing uh, center my first year of football, then right guard and right tackle the next two. Hit my growth spurt, started playing uh, running back and um, linebacker. We ran the single wing, so it was uh, there's really no passing involved. So really just hand the ball off or get the ball and go. Um, once we got to middle school, it was straight running back and linebacker. Um, and then freshman year of high school, uh, on JV, I was a uh, linebacker and fullback for uh, the season. But I also played special teams for varsity and got a snap or two at linebacker. Um, then sophomore year is really where it uh, took off for me, I'd say, at linebacker. I uh, – Started at uh, outside linebacker and slot receiver, believe it or not. Um, it was a good time. Junior year came, and then primarily my, uh, Mike. Um, they had me learn the offensive playbook. Uh, I knew every position, um, every skill position. And then once I got the PC, it was straight, uh, <laughs> straight linebacker. And ever since then, I kind of took off with that. Great. And, uh, you know, I realize you've actually been uh, a, a team captain uh, for, I guess you're going on your third year of doing that. Um, you know, last year you had an excellent year. Uh, you were telling me that you actually hold now the Big South record in tackles. Uh, I did. 150 total. Um, also last year uh, you had, you had uh, 16 and a half tackles for loss. Um, so you obviously had a, a great year, first team all conference. Um, realize you're about mm, six foot, 220, 225. Um, so definitely a uh, unique, you know, size for a linebacker. Um, yeah. Tell me a little bit about, uh, let's go back to the fact that you're a, a team captain. You know, what does that actually mean to you, like, uh, you know, to be a leader on your football team? I mean, it. It really means the world. Um, you got a group of guys that buy in to what, not only what your coaches say, but really what you say, um, it just, it's great. I mean, um, record may not represent it, but it really shows how much uh, the guys are bought in and how much they want to do things the right way. And at the end of the day, that's really what it's about is you got a leader that's doing the right thing, playing ball the right way, um, even outside the ball in the classroom, we're doing stuff the right way. And just looking back at the other guys that are flourishing in the classroom on and off the field, it, I mean, it just feels great. It's like, uh, I guess, like a parent would feel when one of their kids is, uh, you know what I'm saying, doing good, uh, breaking records, stuff like that. And it, I mean, it's, it's a lot of self-satisfaction for myself. But at the same time, it just, it just makes me feel good to know that my guys are uh, doing stuff the right way. Great. And, um, you know, as you have progressed in, uh, in college, um, you know, what has been different? What's your, like, when you're looking at your opponent and you're studying your opponent, um, what's different now when you're watching film versus perhaps like, you know, going back to high school? So what has changed? What do you, what do you focus on? You know, what are your habits there? Mm -hmm. um, in high school, you can really, you can really get by with, out watching much film. I was a big film guy in high school. I actually used to get in trouble for uh, being in computer class and being on huddle and whatnot. But you can watch three or four games in high school and you'll know, I mean, you'll know the team's playbook. You call the play out before they run it. Um, but then once you get to college, there's so many different formation schemes, plays they can run out of a different formation. You really have to, you really have to buy into watching film. 
And I think film study and the way you study film really puts you over the top as a player. And I guess that's what kind of makes up for my lack of size is, you know, the way I take film. Um, we watch film as a team, obviously, in position groups. Uh, I watch a decent amount of extra film by myself, sometimes to the point to where I could tell you what play a team's going to run before they run it. Um, but then also there's times where, I mean, I, I don't have a clue what they're going to do. But for the most part, I'm bought into it. Uh, get after film. I mean, even if you're watching this and you think film doesn't matter, you're completely wrong. The college level, you have to watch film. And when you do, you benefit from it 110%. Absolutely. Um, tell me a little bit more about, um, you know, just maybe uh, one of your coaches. Has any of you, have you ever learned a, like a really good lesson from a coach, something that you'd like to share? Yeah. Um, first thing that comes to my head is really uh, my senior year, well, going into my senior year of high school football, our coach um, started doing something new and it was asked the guys um, three goals they had. And my three goals were make um, all state, lead the uh, county, area, region, whatever it was, in tackles, and uh, play in the North South game. And he cut me off before I could finish. And he said, What, what do you mean, uh, lead the county, uh, North South? There's a Shrine Bowl, there's a state. And it hit, it hit me funny because I was like, Well, these are solid goals that I could reach. And really what it was is he was telling me not to sell myself short. And lo and behold, I actually ended up changing my goals, Shrine Bowl, Lead to State and Tackles. And I accomplished all three of my goals. But looking back on it, it really I really was selling myself short. You know, you can shoot for the stars and land on the moon, and it's better than shooting for the moon and landing on Earth. You know, um, I guess I had gotten, gotten complacent with uh, where I was as a football player because I wasn't receiving these offers and everything that all these other guys were. So really um, don't sell yourself short and never, never be complacent because there's always some way that you can get better or faster. Gotcha. And, um, you know, Colby, before I let you go, I just kind of have, uh, well, really just one last question for you. Uh, maybe two, depending on how you want to you know, roll with it. And, yeah, uh, I usually tell guys this is my why question. So I mean, uh, why do you play football? And maybe the second part of that question is, why should a team actually take you? You know, wh what do you have to offer to a professional ball club? Yeah. Um. So really, first part, why? Um. Obviously, the cliche answer is I love football, but bigger than that. Football is really my nirvana. It's my oasis. Like whenever I'm having a bad day or something in life's not going the way it needs to be, I can get out on the field or I can go into the weight room with some of my boys, some of my best friends really. And it just, it just relieves you. It's a stress reliever. It makes you feel like you're on another planet than me. It's a, uh, it's just amazing feeling. And for the second part, really, to this point in my life, I've done everything that people said I haven't been able to do. I've been undersized. I played Division One football, played at the highest level. Um, and so my plan is to continue to do that. And a lot of people say I don't have a chance at the NFL. I'm undersized. But I promise to really anyone, any coach, any scout, anyone it is, if I even so much as get a tryout or – you know what I'm saying, get invited to a rookie camp. It'll be the best choice you've ever made, and you won't regret it. Awesome, Colby. Well, um, you know, I really appreciate this interview, um, just getting to know you a little bit more. Um, you just kind of have this contagious uh, sort of uh, vibe to you. You know, you have lots of energy. You know, you're a you know, very good, uh, you know, speaker, and, uh, you know, just communicate very well your, your passion of the game. Uh, mm -hmm. Colby, man, uh, I wish you best of luck this season, and uh, you know, just moving forward in your, uh, you know, in your football career, man. So, um, uh, thanks again. Uh, this here is, you know, this this here is is Colby Campbell, out of Presbyterian College.
uh, one of the best linebackers, uh, you know, at the small school level. Check him out.